All right, guys, so we're going to get into this chapter 11, episode 3 of season 2. I don't know what the title is because I haven't seen the episode yet. Obviously, guys, this is a true reaction, so we're going to get into this reaction, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We got Baby Yoda rest in there. We have Frog Lady taking care of her eggs this time. Thank God. He's going in. Belly first. Belly first. Wow. And this is also what we that little shot that we got from the trailer as well. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Good. Good. That's not. Oh, that is sweet. <laughs> Oh, that walker is awesome. I want one right now. Oh my God, that walker is awesome. All right, Sasha Banks, AKA Sabine Wren, maybe. I like, but well, this is really nice. You can see the practical effects. And then, I mean, you can't tell where the practical effects end and where everything else begins. It's just really nice. It's in there. <laughs> oh my God, why are they doing that? Jesus. <laughs> Stop playing with your food. Stop playing with your food. Whoa, what the? Oh yeah, that's right. Who is that? That looks so much like Bo Katan. Bo Katan. <laughs> Ooh, that's sweet. Yes. Oh, that was nice. I've been searching for more of our kind. Well, lucky we found you first. I've been quested to deliver this child. I was hoping that... Oh, she took her helmet off and he is going to trip out. Where did you get that armor? This armor has been in my family for three generations. You do not cover your face. You are not Mandalorian. He's one of them. Thank you, Farrick. Huh. One of what? Listen, guys. Now we're going to get the explanation about the helmet. Clan Kreese. I was born on Mandalore and fought in the Perch. And you are a child of the Watch. The Watch. The Watch. Children of the Watch are a cult of religious zealots that broke away from Mandalorian society. Their goal was to reestablish the ancient way. So old custom. There is only one way. The way of the Mandalore. Let me pass. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I knew they were going to come back. He didn't kill your brother. We did. I did. I can lead you to one of their kind. Shoot. But first, we need your help on our mission. Ah, oh, she's got another side mission, but I'm all for this side mission. You see all day. Imperial Gazanti freighter? Oh, look at that. Woo! <laughs> Sweet. Imperials. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Nice bow. This is good, man. This is good. So good. Oh, yeah, no, they were in there. Close the door. Close the door. Close 
Oh, oh shoot. Dummies. The same oh, that have attacked our you know who this is? The Mizar. They appear to be the Mizar. That's our they the car. Long live the Empire. Long live the Empire. Whoa. Long live the Empire. Oh. Suicide. This is suicide. They're taking the ship down. Six to ten. Servant having to take glasses. We're moving out to the staff. Oh, Dan. Dan, Dan will do it. Seven thousand. Cover me. Man, look. Look at Dan. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Freaking best guard. God damn. But you will take me to him. You will. But he won't. Oh. We have to go. He sent that distress signal. That was Clear crazy. The atmosphere. Prepare to jump. Are you sure you won't join us? There's something I need to do. The offer stands if you change your mind. Dang, he's We're not gonna stay, but he's gotta go back for the child. Take the foundling to the city of Kaladin on the forest planet of Corvus. There you will find Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka! Where you were sent by bo -Katan. And thank you. Your bravery will not be forgotten. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way! Ahsoka Tano's coming, guys. Ahsoka's coming. <laughs> Man, they put fish netting on everything. Why is it on the seat? Oh, oh my. Oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Razor Crest, man. I finally know where I'm taking you, but it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Bryce Dallas Howard directed that. Really, really good episode. I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that episode. There was so much uh, in that episode. There's so much to unpack here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my review. So um, we start out, obviously, with the Razor Crest in Dire Straits. Uh, however, they do make it to their destination. Uh, once there, uh, the Frog Lady is in contact with her husband. Her husband points the Mandalorian in the direction of where he can find other Mandalorians, uh, goes into this uh, diner, finds a contact uh, who says that he can uh, get him to where he needs to go. On the way to where they're, uh, where they're supposed to be taking uh, the Mandalorian, uh, they try to uh, take the baby. Or the, uh, they actually uh, really don't even care about the baby. Uh, they uh, hit the baby into a pit. Uh, this monster swallows the baby while he's in his uh, pod. And they knock the Mandalorian into the pit as well. And uh, obviously they are after his Beskar. So once again, we find out that the Beskar armor is very, very valuable. And I mentioned in my last uh, reaction that uh, the Mandalorian would not only have to deal with people trying to go after the child, but uh, trying to go after him for his Beskar armor. And we saw an example of that here uh, in this particular episode, which was really, really cool. At that point, it doesn't look like the Mandalorian is going to get out of this. And then the next thing we know... Bo-Katan and uh, two of her loyalists uh, arrive and save the day in, in outstanding fashion. And uh, very, very cool to see Katie, uh, Katie Sackhoff uh, as Bo-Katan here. Uh, really, really awesome. 
very, very cool. What a great reveal. While they're uh, conversating, Bo-Katan takes her helmet off. And the Mandalorian, uh, uh, Din Djarin, is uh, taken aback by this. He's like, wait a minute, they have the armor. They look like Mandalorians, but they took their helmet off. And so he's like, no, that, that's not the way. I, I, you guys aren't Mandalorian. Uh, Bo-Katan explains who she is. Uh, and, and as I had mentioned in my reaction, it's obvious that he didn't even know who Bo-Katan was and what her significance is to Mandalore. So from there, you know that the uh, Watch, uh, who is the, the clan that he is most familiar with, uh, have taken up the old ways of never removing your helmet and never showing your face. And obviously they've uh, kind of kept some of the history of Mandalore uh, from the foundlings uh, who weren't aware uh, of their history and uh, what the significance is of Bo-Katan. Uh, so that's really, really interesting and very, very telling uh, information right there. So um, the Mandalorian uh, flies away with Baby Yoda. Uh, and by the way, the, the pod is crushed, destroyed. Uh, by this monster, uh, but he flies away. Later on, he's walking on the dock, and uh, again, he runs into uh, the same species, and I forget the name of the species, um, but uh, it happens to be the brother uh, of this guy who just tried to uh, uh, get the best guard from the Mandalorian. So he's got his little mob of guys, and they're getting ready to take on uh, the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian has uh, the child in hand and no uh, protection for, uh, for the child uh, at this point. And then, uh, sure enough, Bo-Katan uh, and her uh, other two loyalists show up and uh, once again save the day uh, for the Mandalorian. So she uh, tries to bargain with the uh, Mandalorian, saying that she will uh, provide him with information uh, to whom uh, he would be able to take the child to and uh, fulfill his mission, uh, but she would need to uh, commission him to uh, go on another side mission uh, before she gets that information, which is kind of the theme of this uh, particular season. Uh, for every little step that the uh, Mandalorian has to take, he, there's a little side mission mission that comes along with it. He just can't straight out get the information and, and go where he needs to go or just straight pay for the information and go where he needs to go. But um, it, it, in this instance, this is a very, very cool uh, side mission. And obviously, uh, this side mission, it moves the plot along very far so uh, you can't just dismiss this as some side mission this is definitely a part of the the plot uh, of the story uh, because Bo-Katan Bo is obviously after the Darksaber and uh, they're also um, coming after the remnants of the Empire as well so uh, really really cool stuff the Mandalorian takes the child back to the frog lady and her husband for safekeeping and then he joins Bo-Katan and them to uh, take on this freighter and uh, they're trying to steal the freighter and uh, get all of the uh, weapons and everything from this particular uh, freighter. And uh, again, Bo-Katan, we, we learned uh, later on that Bo-Katan's uh, mission is to uh, recapture the Darksaber from Moff Gideon, uh, who makes a surprise appearance in this particular episode. Once they board the ship, we get some really good action. We're taking out stormtroopers um, uh, left and right. They're trapped in the uh, cargo bay and uh, they open up the cargo door and uh, soldiers and, and uh, Imperials are flying out the back of the door. Just really, really cool stuff. And uh, we get, and I don't know the actor's name, unfortunately, but uh, he's, a, uh, I believe, a character actor. I've seen him in plenty of movies, plenty of TV shows, uh, but he was playing an Imperial. Uh, and anybody who knows that actor's name, please put that uh, in the comments down below. Uh, I will be reading the comments, guys. So, um, it's a, a hologram message from Moff Gideon. Uh, so Moff Gideon makes his appearance in this episode and uh, he's telling him uh, that, hey, they're uh, taking over the ship and uh, he's requesting backup and Moff Gideon is like, no, that's not possible. Uh, you know what to do. And he takes out his weapon and he shoots the two uh, young pilots uh, who are piloting this craft. And then he immediately uh, takes it into a nose dive. Uh, trying to destroy the ship and make sure that they don't, uh, the Mandalorians don't walk away with any of the weapons or any of the cargo that's on board. So uh, as it's doing this dive, the uh, Mandalorians are uh, held, being held down by stormtroopers with uh, high-powered weapons, uh, pulse, pulse rifles, if I'm not mistaken. And um, 
just really just rapid fire where uh, there's no way uh, that they would not get hit once they uh, once they've got from uh, out of cover or even to try and take a shot. There's a, a chance that they might get hit. So uh, the Mandalorian and they're running out of time because, again, the, the ship is in a very deep nosedive. So the Mandalorian takes it upon himself to grab two of his bombs. He steps out in harm's way and uh, he's getting hit with these blasters but the best car is just is holding up but he's getting bam 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 hit very awesome scene throws the bombs at the stormtroopers blows them up uh they enter the cockpit uh stop the ship from uh diving into the water and uh they capture the uh imperial officer uh bo katan questions the officer regarding the dark saber uh basically letting her know that moff gideon does have the dark saber and uh but he didn't tell her that but uh you know he from what the, from his answer she knew exactly uh she she pretty much had confirmation that moff had that weapon so they uh, again saved the ship from the nosedive and then this imperial officer has something in his mouth uh that uh, allows him to uh commit suicide and kills himself uh before he has to do anything or uh, uh provide any more information to bo katan end of the episode where the uh, mandalorian goes picks up the child goes back to uh look at the repairs of his ship uh you can tell the ship is uh patched up and it gets on the inside and there's all kinds of fish netting and uh calamari uh ropes and stuff all over the place and the the, the ship looks a mess you know and baby yoda's sitting there in, in his chair and this um uh, sea creature uh comes up from uh behind one of the components in the uh, Razor Crest, climbs a rope, uh, is getting ready to attack Baby Yoda, but uh, the but the Mandalorian grabs the creature and crushes it just like he did the spider in the previous episode. And then uh, a little bit later, as they're uh, taking off into space, we see the child uh, kind of slurping up one of the uh, tentacles uh, of the uh, uh, sea creature uh, as they're uh, headed off to go see ahsoka tano so we got uh, a very very cool name drop uh in this particular episode from one of the rumored uh characters for this particular season which is going to be ahsoka tano um so that is really really cool i was um didn't expect that you know it was one thing to get bo katan hey, i, I would have been satisfied with that but you, you throw in a, a name drop of ahsoka tano and you're pointing the mandalorian in that direction and i'm like okay let's do this you know what i'm saying so um my 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 fear is that we i don't know if we're going to exactly get to see ahsoka tano in the ne very next episode um i'm uh, i'm sure the mandalorian is going to have to jump through some hoops maybe go through another side mission before he actually gets to uh see ahsoka tano because that's really doing a lot um for this uh season uh within the first four episodes uh, of this uh, particular season. So this being the third episode of, of the season, the, the, the next episode being the fourth, uh, that would be doing a lot. You got Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, and Ahsoka within the first four episodes of the, fir uh, of the uh, second season. And uh, that's, that's doing a lot. So uh, I'm, I, I wanna be a little uh, cautiously optimistic uh, about the chances of us actually getting to see Ahsoka uh, in this next episode. But obviously, it's a very great chance uh, that we will see Ahsoka in this next upcoming episode. So that's going to be some really cool, exciting stuff, guys. So um, again, I thought this was an excellent episode. Uh, there, there was a lot of information in this episode. Uh, very cool to see Bo-Katan. Uh, great action. Great side mission uh, there. We got a lot of cuteness. With Baby Yoda. Uh, so, uh, very, very cool stuff. And then we also got the answer, uh, re regarding the, uh, removal of the helmet and why the Mandalorians or, or the Mandalorians that we saw in the beginning, uh, do not remove their helmet versus the, uh, Mandalorians that we've seen in the past who have removed their helmets. But they finally answered that question and we knew they would, uh, answer that question. So, uh, now we understand that, uh, the, the, um, watch have uh, taken on customs of the past uh, where they did never remove their helmet, never showed their faces. And uh, of course, um, Bo-Katan uh, is still, she 
is the Mandalorians that we're more familiar with uh, who do remove their helmets. So uh, really, really cool stuff. And uh, the great, great reveal right there. And, of course, that answers the question that a lot of the fans had regarding why does the Mandalorian not remove his helmet when we've seen Mandalorians remove their helmets uh, in the past. Now we know. So uh, great stuff. Really enjoyed that, guys. Um, excellent, excellent. In regards to Sasha Banks, uh, everyone thought Sasha Banks might be Sabine Wren. Uh, obviously, she was not. She's, uh, But she is... Uh, a part of the Mandalorian. She is playing a Mandalorian in this particular episode. So that was very, very cool and a very uh, nice reveal as well. Uh, had everyone fooled. A lot of people thought that she might be a Jedi because she was wearing the robe. Uh, but no, obviously uh, she is a Mandalorian and they were, they had an eye on uh, him from the moment that he landed. And that was really, really cool stuff. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and score this episode, and I'm going to score this episode a 9.5 out of 10. Um, by far the best episode of this particular season, and the first uh, two episodes were really, really great episodes. As a matter of fact, I might have scored those episodes a bit lower than uh, I should have, um, but this particular episode... Uh, was absolutely great because it, it not only moved the main plot forward uh greatly but it also uh gave you uh everything that the other episodes gave you with a lot of action uh great pacing um the the uh shots were beautiful uh beautiful landscape when you're uh, looking at that dock area and you can see the practical effects um and they just go they blend right on in uh with uh, all of the cgi and everything else uh to complete that scene so um i thought this was a beautiful uh, episode and uh, an excellent episode and that's why I scored it a 9.5 uh, out of 10. Uh, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in regards to this particular episode. Uh, what did you think uh, in regards to Bo-Katan, uh, in regards to her chase after the Darksaber? Uh, what, what, do you think, what do you think that's going to lead her? Will we see Bo-Katan again? I do believe that we will see Bo-Katan again. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we will see Bo-Katan again. And uh, also in regards to Ahsoka, uh, do you guys think that we will see Ahsoka in the next episode? I am hoping so, fingers crossed, uh, but we will see uh, if we will get Ahsoka in that next episode, guys. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are and what did you score this episode, guys? Let me know and put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father, to the sun, to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost. May the Force be with you always.